Kyle here from allmeetreviews.blogspot.com. A couple other blog notes I forgot to add on the last one. Today is the 15th anniversary of Lady of the Pier's Fancy Black Channel. If I knew where my CD was right now, I would show it to you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was listening to it again today, and I remembered how much I love that album. The energy is off the charts at times. It's it's so great. It's, is it dance punk? Maybe I'm just a big dance punk fan. I don't know. Electronic dance punk. Um, but... Um, I hadn't listened to it in a while. I talked about it because I talked about La Priest in my mid-season list. La Priest, who went off as now the, the sole act of one of the, the I think the lead singer, one of the members of of uh, Lady of the Pier. Lady of the Pier, you know, ended up, they put out a couple singles and Blue Bear was one of them. And that was it. And then they ended. But that was 15 years ago today. We also had anniversaries from yesterday was um, I Mother Earth's debut album Dig, which I've never really talked much about I'm Mother Earth, but that would be worth doing sometime soon, hopefully. And then uh, Wednesday, that was yesterday, the 10th, Wednesday the 9th was the, um, I believe it was the 55 year anniversary of Cream's Wheels of Fire, which, you know, I should know that record better. Of course it has White Room, but um, significant release of sorts. I saw Cream, uh, someone do a, a guy do a pretty good Cream Special documentary history thing a few weeks ago. Um, I always liked Cream, although, you know, I mean, the personalities, and I've had some reservations about Clapton of late. Um, but, um, oh, that's the other thing. I'm seeing local natives a week from today at First Avenue. First time being back to First Avenue since COVID. Um, I've seen them four, five, six times, seven times. I mean, I, I saw them with, like, in front of five people at Station 4 in, like, 2008. Uh, when they were still known as Cobble at Rest, but, um, and I listened to and revisited their track, We Could Love, as Cobble at Rest, off the Orion Way EP, and I would contend and argue with any of their fans, and the band members would probably just shoot me down with this too, that that may still be their best song ever. The bridge in that song is just unbelievably, it's heavenly, it's just so good. I, they should play that like 10 minutes Although I guess it would get repetitive and old after a while. That da na 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 da da. It's oh the energy is just is so uplifting. Um, but yeah, I'm seeing them next week. Their new album, I've listened to a few times. It's spotty, but I'm listening to their other records. I, I revisited um, Girl the Man with their debut album, most of it yesterday, and remember how that much I love that album. So. If I have the time next week, maybe I can do a whole video on there and I can corral all my physical copies of their stuff. But um, they're not really prog. They're, they're art rock. They're, they're indie, hipster, alternative pitchfork. They're, too, they're really associated with the pitchfork scene, unfortunately. Um, where, did my, where did my laptop go? There was something. Also, I just found out. Well, so there's this guy on the Dream Theater forums who's, who's doing these, uh, these things called roulettes. And he had everyone participating in the roulette listen to a, a mixture of all the songs that have been that he went through, and I I discovered a couple of tracks I absolutely loved um, on my Spotify just today because we were just doing it today, and I I, mean, I have to look into these bands that I, I a couple of them specifically are artists. Let's just see where is it because I think you can look at your like songs on Spotify. Well, maybe not. Um, there was one artist that had very much of like a Pat Metheny thing. Well, part of it is I have a laptop with a mouse that doesn't, a mouse pad that needs to get f repaired. We're getting, we're getting rain behind us. Let's see here. It'd just be good to like sort of, um, yeah, it doesn't even have David and David I've been listening to recently. Well, I was thinking one thing I might just try doing is spotlighting like video, specific videos on um, tracks and everything like that. Just, you know, just to highlight certain tracks. Where is it? Let's see here. It's the previous page. I mean, it was a list of 18 tracks. My track was Pepe Deluxe's A Night in the Day, which I love, and you know. Oh, I know. I made the list. I forgot about that. I made that list. Um, one of the artists' name is, well, there's a couple that I like, but um, what was the, one, the last one on the list? Yatri. That was terrific, like jazzy, 
Yeah, it was very jazz. It was like Pat Metheny kind of jazz. Yeah, I'm gonna have to listen to more, but Yatri, this track called Vipassa, Vipa, Vipassana, uh, which is, um, and then, let's see here. I had a couple, there's a band called Circus of Fools I liked. There was a bunch of metal songs in there. Lorena McCannon, I, I kind of like. Lorena McCannon actually did a collaboration with local natives on the Lemon EP, I didn't even realize, on the song Sour Lemon, I think, Sour Lemon EP. Um, I've known her name for a long time, singer-songwriter, but um, Circus of Fools I'm going to probably try to look into, um, and there was one other. Oh, this someone named, yeah, I don't know if it's Gunship or Tim Capello, Indiana, but the, this is a remix of some kind called Dark All Day. No, no, that was a different track. Dark, so Gunship is one, and then another one's called Bonobo which was Alex Banks and Andrea Tri Triana, a track called The Keeper, the Alex Banks remix, I really went for. So, yeah, I mean, I'll have to follow up with some of these. I'm really looking forward to checking out this Yatri, but, you know, I've done this before, where you listen to one track and then you listen to a few others and they don't really match up to that. Anyway, um, but, yeah, I should just, like I said, um, hopefully going forward, you look at what's going on in this you know, which used to be a um, a lot of boxes and a lot of bags and stuff. You can actually see the floor, starting to see the floor here. Um, so you can see, we're getting a lot of weather <laughs> this uh, Friday afternoon. I don't know if we're going to be going out anywhere tonight because <laughs> of this weather, but it's good for the environment maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I, I hopefully, because it's not just vinyl, but I need to organize this vinyl. If you look at this vinyl, you know, it's not some of its new stuff. I was thinking, what's the best way to organize vinyl? Is it really just go ahead and go A to Z? That might still ultimately be what I do, but if there would be some value, some kind of something to be said if you if I were to organize it by like calendar year. The problem with that, if I were to do my calendar best ofs, is that I don't have a lot of the albums um, I love that are on my top albums from every year on vinyl. I don't even have them on some of them. I don't even have on CD, but. But of course, I've got, you know, still stacks of CDs that still, I still need to go through. But I've taken two or three steps after four years and change, and hopefully I didn't kill my back, um, of finally getting some semblance of an organization. We, we're going to get more of these crates. These are the crates we've been buying for this. We're going to get more of these because while these plastic bins that I've got here to store, I stored the vinyl when I was in, put them in storage and everything. So I have DVDs and everything like that. Um were nice they're not really ideal to access and actually they the, the these bins rather got damaged some of them got a little damaged but um so i'm going to do is hopefully have you know stack more stacks of these these are like they're like 20 some dollars a piece so they're not cheap but um they're not overly expensive we have some shelves in the in our garage that i'd have to assemble that would just be a, a job and a half so i've just kind of resounded we're going to wait till we move but the short term, I'll get some more of those crates here, and then all my stuff will be set up, and then maybe start trying to figure out a way to organize all the CDs. And I don't know, like a lot of people have done, I may just end up trying to do like an albums of the year videos, but I'm to do and show all the physical copies, do like every year, like I've done. Probably be too much, but um, what I might try to do is just do like a top, let's say top 20 maybe top 15 or do a top 30 and just lightning around until the top 10 <laughs> just anyway um please like and subscribe uh and let me know what you've been how you store your vinyl i'd love to hear about that vinyl community but thank you for watching and i'll see you next time